Okay, here's a basic tutorial on how to use Tinkercad, a very simple, very uh, basic 3D CAD. What you do is you have a series of shapes and things over here. So I can pick one of those. So in this case, I've made a cube here. And now I can grab things to change the size of it. I can also use sliders here to change the height of it. Radius, what does this do? Oh, look at that. So I can put curves on it. I have not used this very much, so I'm discovering as I go here. So I can make something like, it like puts little fillets on, all the, on the sides. Okay, so once I got that, now I can, if I want to make a hole in it, I could do this one, but let me show you with this so that you can see a little better. So I can take this, make this tall. I can bring it so that it goes inside of it. I can make it a hole. That makes it uh, a cut instead of an extrude. Then if I hold the shift key down and I click my block with it, so now they're both highlighted, hold the shift key, then I click on group and it makes it a single part. And right click mouse allows me to move around so I can do this to do things to it. So I can, if I can do uh, different kinds of shapes, I can put a, see if I can, you can, Okay, that's not going to rotate much, but this will. I can rotate that and then rotate around that way. And now I can put this here. And now again, hold down the shift key, click on my block here and group it. And now I have a Kind of an interesting little shape so you can do you can so you can add to it you can subtract to it you can buy and by grouping and you can ungroup it if you want to change it later um, it has a flip thing i'm not sure if i highlight this and then i flip it it just says okay which way do you want to flip it so you can do those kind of things um, a lot of different things you can do so you're going to make some kind of design it should have at least half a dozen different things added, changed, whatever to it. Play around with these different things. Uh, let's see, I can even, let's see if I can put a, there was text here. I don't know how this works, so let's see. Um, so I can type uh, Humphrey, and then I'm going to, whoa. <laughs> I'm going to have to shrink it here. Oh, here we go. So you can do these kinds of things. Then I can rotate it that way. Rotate it this way. I can then move it. Still too big. And so, probably spending too much time on this, but, whoops. And you can see how all of a sudden it looks like it kind of moved away from me there, didn't it? So you have to be careful on that. Okay, I've kind of combined with it, so let me see if I can add it to this. Got my name there, kind of there. All right, then what you're going to do is when you get all done, uh, the share button. Oh, so it didn't come on good because I got to be, you got to get the screen the way you want it. Oh, how'd my hole get up there? But anyways, I'm really messing it up here now. So, uh, but you can share this and it, take it as a picture, you download a picture, and that's what you're going to upload to, uh, here I can back up a step. There we go. And so you can, you're going to share and download it and upload that picture to Canvas. You can also, you can export uh, it as a, an SDL that you can actually 3D print. But that's basically what you need to do in order to mess around with Tinkercad in Mr. Keel's class.